Windows 10 keys. This has been a highly controversial topic for a few years now. And one of the channel sponsors that I have here at Tech Yes City, SCD keys, I've been using them personally for years now. And the reason being is I actually checked when I first was negotiating a sponsorship with them. I said, look, your keys have to be legit. If they're not legit, I don't want anything to do with you. And so they then sent me over a few keys, but I didn't want to trust that method. I went on to a separate account from a new user and then bought some keys and individually tested them. And when I ran them two years ago, they were actually retail keys. That is single end user licenses, the keys that you and I should be using on our PCs, especially if we are gamers. And especially in the last few months, I've been seeing messages along the lines of SCD keys are selling volume license keys. You shouldn't buy these. They're not meant for the single end user. And these comments, they may be right about other sellers of Windows 10 keys, but they're actually not right about SCD keys, where a volume license key is essentially designed for business to business, where they would give out a single license and that business could then use that same license to deploy across all their systems that they were using, hence saving them time, but also saving them money where they got that volume license key. Now there are eBay sellers that do sell these licenses and essentially it isn't legal. However, that's enough talk. I'm going to go buy some licenses off eBay and also buy some licenses off SCD keys and then use those licenses on the PC behind me where we can check the validity of such licenses to tell you guys what's going on. And furthermore, I'll even call up Microsoft and check with them with today's licenses that we're gonna use. Let's get on with it and get the lowdown for you guys. So here's our first little eBay key that we got here. We got this for six Aussie dollars. However, the listing has already been removed about 20 minutes after I bought it. So that was very quick. So I'm guessing eBay is already filtering out these listings and stopping them from being sold on their website. Though we did get the message through and we did get a key. So we're now able to grab this key, check it out and see what it says. So our first little eBay key right here has netted a result of a Windows 10 RTM Professional N. So it's not even a pro license, it's a pro N license, which there are some differences here and that is the N takes away some features in Windows and I think it requires an actual different install of Windows too. Though the most important thing is after that it says volume Mac. Now Mac means multiple activation key. So that is not meant for retail channels at all. So that's one of the eBay keys. What we're gonna do now is quickly buy another eBay key and see what results it churns out. So the next one now that we've dropped in here is actually, I don't even know if this is worse or not, but this is a Windows 10 RTM Education N volume Mac license. So that's two different eBay sellers, two different keys. I'm going to say if you want to get a key off eBay, do tread lightly. And we've just got our first key now purchased off the website SCD Keys. We've got here Windows 10 RTM Professional Retail. So this is the retail stuff. This is a single end user license. However, we're not gonna stop there. I've got a heap of different keys from this website over the years. So we're gonna go through a whole page of keys and just check the validity of each and every one. And going through the rest of the keys, there is a little bit of a twist here, and that is that not all the keys are base Windows 10. Some of them are actually Windows 8.1. And the thing about this is, is though, is they're still retail keys. And the good thing is here is you can upgrade Windows 8.1, Windows 8, and Windows 7 keys to Windows 10 for free. And so some of the keys might be different versions, but those versions will upgrade. And the good thing is, is that they are all retail keys. Though it's finally time to put on that Bogan accent, give Microsoft a call and see if these keys are legit. Thank you for calling Microsoft. Thank you for calling Microsoft Support. My name is... May I know your first name and last name? Oh, uh, hello. My name's Brian. Hi, Brian. 
Brian. Uh, Brian, how may I help you today? Uh, yeah, um, I just bought a PC off uh, Facebook and my mate said I should just check if my uh, Windows 10 is uh, okay. All right. So the Windows 10 is uh, working on it. You're using Windows 10 operating system on it? Yeah, it says it's activated, but my friend said i got to be careful of what the key is. You gotta be careful of what? Like if you buy, like some people buy keys off eBay and they're not real Microsoft keys. Hmm. So I so just. If your Windows is already activated, you do not need a key anymore. Okay, so that's um. Okay, thanks. So my my Windows says it's activated, and with a digital I license. Understand. Okay, I'll just look into this further. Allow me a couple of minutes, Brian. Brian, your last name would be Simpson, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've got I've got the key here if you just want to check it. Uh, see, that's absolutely fine. It would not be required. I'll just confirm a couple of things to you and see and make sure that your device is running fine. Okay. And uh, Brian, I must tell you that if your system is activated through a digital line license, it will remain activated on this computer, okay, on this PC, and you need not worry about that. So all the features of Windows 10 would be unlocked and you can use your device uh, without any difficulties and access all its features. Okay. okay. Yeah, thanks, mate. Okay, I won't waste any more of your time. Thanks, mate. Welcome, Brian. And so there it is from Microsoft support themselves. They basically said if your Windows 10 is activated, you have nothing to worry about. And I was a little bit surprised because I did mention that I look, I bought this key off uh, Marketplace and it could be a key where my friends have warned me about keys on eBay. And that didn't phase uh, the customer support team. They just said, look, if Windows is activated, you are pretty much good to go. We're gonna continue on now with, uh, for instance, you go to Trustpilot. This is a big one because some people have linked me to Trustpilot. Where CD keys, for example, have been getting, I'd say their competitors are putting in fake reviews because I've never had a problem. And I've got a lot of friends that use SCD keys as well. We've never had one problem with the service. You pretty much log into the website, Use pay I use PayPal to buy the keys and they're instantly delivered. You just go to show key and then your key's there and all the keys have worked. And here's the best thing about today's video with SCD keys because I went to them and I said, look, I'm gonna do this video, but can you give the viewers a big discount? And they said, look, it's the month of Black Friday. We're gonna give a 30% discount for people who use the coupon BFTYC. And so I, when I bought the keys today, I use this on a two for one combo. So they'll sell two retail keys for a little bit cheaper than the price of buying two individually in a pack. And this is a great option if you're building more than one PC, because we see here with the cost, it's a little over nine USD for a single end Windows 10 Pro license. And they're a retail key. So the bottom line with SCD keys, the channel sponsor here, they're absolutely fine. I'll put a link in the description below with this month's coupon code, even though it's Black Friday, TYC, the BFTYC, I'm calling it the big fat TYC discount for November, where you can get 30% off. And they've also got other products like Office 2016, which I've activated one of these to my Microsoft account. For instance, if I change PCs or upgrade my PC, I can then just log into that account and I've got Office 2016 available there. So really handy, really good service. And I do vouch for my sponsors here at Tech Yes City. Though if you have any more questions or comments about CD keys and Windows 10, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. But there's also one more thing as well. And that is if you get older PCs, like in Taiwan, I remember we went to a scrapyard and we saw Windows 7 keys printed on these old computers. If you want to get a free key, it is possible to reuse older Windows 7 keys. So there's that option too. 
And so if you see me on parts hunts, sometimes I'll pick up old Windows 7 keys. And when I've then reused that motherboard, put it in a different case, for example, I was then able to upgrade that Windows 7 key to Windows 10, and I didn't have to pay for a Windows 10 license at all. So there's that option too. Anyway, guys, we got the question of the day here, which comes from Mr. Max Gas, and they ask, the LG CX supports variable refresh rate, right? What about the C9? Now, both the C9 and the uh, CX, they're the LG 4K 120Hz OLED TVs, they support it, both of them, because it's baked in, I believe, to the HDMI 2.1 standard. So you shouldn't have a problem. It's just then up to the firmware update and also the update of the device you're using, whether it be a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X or a PC graphics card. It's up to that manufacturer to then work with that TV to get that working properly. So yes, it can work. Just whether it will work and how much time it takes for that to work is another thing. Anyway, guys, hope that answers that question, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Whoa!